What's up everybody, this is Lennon, and my friends heard that I made some money in crypto. They want to know where I get the info, so I'm going to give you the down low. Top 10 crypto YouTubers, here we go. Before we jump straight into the content, let me tell you a little bit about my crypto story and why you might want to value the people's opinions that I value. I got into crypto about three and a half years ago, uh, mostly just watching from the sidelines, researching and educating myself. And over those last three years, this has been the one subject that I have gained the most knowledge and expertise in. And it isn't really my own expertise that I've been relying on though, it is the people in this video. And just to kind of give you context of like what type of money we're talking about, basically rough numbers, you could say that I started with an initial investment of about $5,000, which I've parsed in over a couple of different times. And that has grown and grown and grown and grown. And I've taken thus far about $20 in profits. It's how I've sustained my life and my livelihood over the last year and my current portfolio is still sitting at about $15,000. So in total, uh, five into 35 is kind of the rough math there, which obviously would have been more had I just let the, the, all my investments right. Today I am coming to you from Mwanza, Tanzania, where I flew back to as of the start of the new year. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the top 10 crypto YouTubers. Number 10, Alessio. Rasanti. Alessio, I'm totally sorry if I butchered your last name there. I've actually never heard you say it. Alessio comes in at number 10 as a traditional finance type guy who has taken the orange pill, meaning he's been bought into the Bitcoin narrative. And he does cover a lot of content here on his channel that is specific to kind of just market conditions in general, but also Bitcoin specifically. And I like Alessio because he's a no-nonsense, like technical guy. He comes with a lot of experience and expertise from the traditional finance world. And he's bringing that knowledge over to the crypto space. And I find that he's great for just kind of high level analysis of the economy in general and specifically the Bitcoin crypto markets as well. Here's Alessio. Hi, this is Leslie. Hope you're well. In this video, we're going to take a look at this chart of Bitcoin. It's a long-term chart of Bitcoin. And I'm going to explain to you what this chart is likely telling us. In fact, I'm going to explain to you why the fact that Bitcoin is still below its 21 weekly average is a very important sign. We should pay attention to it. Let's talk about that. Join me. Another thing that I really like about Alessio is while he's he's doing these videos always while he's traveling and so he always gives us a little bit of insight into where he is and what he's doing and shows us some of the beauty of the places that he visits so here's just a little clip of him doing that today i'm speaking to you from florida in the united states in fact i flew to orlando just a few days ago uh, by the way an amazing view of orlando from the plane as you can see here and actually where i am right now is called the palm coast it's not far away from daytona or daytona beach i'm sure you've probably heard of daytona nascar so that's not far from here all right guys let's talk about bitcoin now sweet so if you want to get a high level overview of the economy in general and the Bitcoin market, then Alessio is a good place to start. Now coming in at number nine, we have Chico Crypto. Chico Crypto, had you asked me about two years ago who was my top YouTuber uh, in the crypto space, I would have said it was Chico Crypto. And I do still really, really appreciate and value Chico's opinion, uh, but he has been a little bit spotty on his video production over the last half year or so. He's openly admitted that he's kind of dealt with some mental health issues. So very good on him for taking lots of mental health breaks. What I really, really like about Chico is he is the best researcher in the space. Like he just finds out information that nobody else finds out because he and his team, they go deep in Twitter, Reddit, um, YouTube, using the Wayback Machine. They just use all their sources that they can to come up with their stories, anything that they're featuring. Some of the kind of negative things that maybe aren't as great about Chico, well, it could be a negative or a positive depending on how you look at it. He definitely is what I would consider a values investor. So he's investing for the long term and he's only interested in projects that are aligned with his core values. He definitely is a decentralized DGEN, like he's just hardcore about any crypto project that he's involved in has a very decentralized narrative. Uh, if you don't know what that means, take a look because it is it is important stuff. So that in mind though, when it comes to projects that are more centralized like Solana 
and the Binance Smart Chain. Both of those projects I've actually had plays on. He's going to poop with them. There's just no questions asked. If it's anything on Binance Smart Chain, yeah, bam, thumbs down from Chico. And I respect that. You know, the guy has his values and he sticks with it. However, overall, I still think Chico is one of the best dudes in the industry. Uh, as you can see, though, some of his is it's just kind of spotty, like when he's putting out videos or not. He'll put out a bunch of videos in a row. Then it'll take a long mental health break, and then he'll put out some more videos. Oh, and Chico, I have to give him big props because, uh, as I said, he was like the main guy I was following a few years ago, and he was the one who turned me on to Link or Chainlink, which was initially where I made my money in crypto. I took some of that Chainlink money and then was able to funnel it into other projects. Here's a look at Chico and what he's like as a person. Hey yo, what's going on with the viewers of the tube? It's been a while since we've been together. After a short break, I'm back in the saddle again, ready to provide the best crypto content on the place they call the tube. It's a fresh year, so let's start out fresher than a brand new Lamborghini. You know our drill, even if it's been a while, because it's time for Chico Crypto. Chico's the man. I love him. I think he's a, I just think he's a cool person. Like I personally like his chill Cali vibe being an Oregonian myself. Uh, take a look and he will definitely turn you on to some projects that really nobody else is talking about. He'll get to them before anybody else just because his research is so sick and so on point. That was number nine, Chico Crypto. Now coming in at number eight, Elio Trades Crypto. Elio is, he's a long time, um, industry leader in the crypto space and he's also an entrepreneur in this space he has his own gaming studio and he's made his own nft play so he's coming at this from multiple angles and i've relied on him uh, a lot specifically for his nft content i find him to be the most insightful person when it comes to the nft space in general and he's also he's going to cover a lot of things on his channel he does interviews um, he recently hired a guy who's doing technical analysis on his channel. So a couple videos come out of that every week on technical analysis, which I kind of skip those ones um, because I have other guys that I rely on, which I'll, I'll mention here in a little bit. Elio, uh, sometimes he comes across as a little bit elitist, uh, maybe a little bit cocky. And you know, I look past it. He's a young dude who's made millions in crypto and uh, he's pretty proud of that. <laughs> The memes are rolling in and everyone is starting to feel wildly euphoric. Whether bearish or believing we are oversold, it is a wild time here in crypto land. So I'm going to be going through and sampling some important sentiments from the market and then delivering a conclusion to you as to how I'm going to be approaching my crypto stacks for the short term, mid term and long term here in 2022. As it's only January 6th, but we already have seen... That's Elio. I like him. I, I do consume a lot of his content. I think he's a good dude and he's one of the YouTubers that I really trust here in the space. Okay, coming in at number seven, we have the blockchain backer. This is another technical guy. He's a long-term investor and he's really good at chart analysis, specifically using the Fibonacci extensions and sequence. And you can see that like all of his videos here, they're very chart focused. Um, he's big into XRP, not one of my plays that hasn't really done anything, uh, but he's got a big bag of it. So he talks a lot about that. And he's also obviously into Bitcoin, Ethereum. He's going to cover a wide variety of projects and he's going to really focus in on the technical analysis, basically using math to decide which direction the market is heading and whether you should be long or short on a specific project. Let's take a look at one of his videos here. What's going on, everybody? This is the blockchain backer bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. Today, it is the start of a new week. We have some action over here on the Bitcoin price chart and with the altcoin market. We'll dive into that in the first half of this video. Then the second half of this video will be more of a broader perspective look at the markets. That's pretty typical of him. Every video is going to deep dive into something and then also take like a just broader approach to the market. And he's got a pretty epic intro. Hey, this is the blockchain backer. Coming in at number seven. Number six, we have Benjamin Cohen. This is another technical analysis guy. He's actually the number one guy that I rely upon for technical analysis when it just comes to like 
following the chart pattern and, and figuring out where the market is moving. And he's also really convinced me of his lengthening cycle theory. Basically, Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets have followed this four year cycle where they're every fourth year, there's this huge, massive blow off top and then followed by consolidation. And based on his analysis, he's actually suggesting that those, those four year cycles are extending and that we should expect this cycle that we're currently in to last longer than four years. Something I should have, I could have mentioned about blockchain backer is he actually thinks that we're still on the four year cycle and that the top has already come in. Uh, both of these guys are very, very just, they're not going to, pump you up with a bunch of FOMO, fear of missing out. They're not going to like overhype anything, which I find that a lot of the technical guys are going to do. They're going to like just constantly try to promise really high, crazy, ridiculous returns. And I find that these two are the most level-headed in this space. Benjamin Cohen uh, is my number one technical analysis guy here. And I would, the one criticism I have about Ben is he gets long-winded. He'll basically talk about what he's going to talk about and then he's going to talk about it again and then he kind of talks about it again kind of cycles back to it so a lot of times i might just watch the first half of ben's videos just to kind of like figure out what he's going to say and then i'm going to move on but i do really rely on him uh also it's like been very important to me at times when the market is crashing really hard and i have really no idea like how to base when is this going to end like should i really be pulling out should i pull out my money right now at a loss even uh and ben he's always coming through with wisdom to keep you level-headed and to you know make sure that you're you're making the right plays even though none of it is financial advice he tells you what he's doing and what he does, he's usually making pretty damn good calls. So he's a good person to follow. Here's a little clip of what Ben's like. Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna be doing an update on the bull market support band. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. That's Benjamin Cohen coming in at number six. Now, coming in at number five, we have Voss coin. This guy is pretty awesome. In my opinion, he's one of the best presenters in the industry. I just like to listen to him. Um, he is a big time miner. He does a lot of, I'm not involved in that. So that type of content isn't really relevant to me, but he also is just really focused on passive income, how to generate passive income in the crypto space. And he's going to cover really everything. I've heard him talk about Solana. I've heard him talk about Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, um, a little bit about Bitcoin, a little bit about stocks even and the market sentiment in general. And he's a good dude. He also gets his dog and his wife involved in the project. So it's a whole family affair and I dig that. Let's see what he's like as Today a Today I'm gonna to discuss one of my biggest tips, secret, fake guru things, but on a whole serious note here, one of the most important things I've done to just preserve my mental health and increase my financial gains. This one simple technique that you can do, I do every day, constantly, can massively increase your return on investments, ROI, but as always, nothing's guaranteed. But I can guarantee that you think Tails is cute, our resident Shiba Inu. My name is Voss, you're watching the Voss Coin YouTube channel. We talk about everything crypto, financial, investing. We got a little bit of stock content, but let's keep it real. We're all about our passive income here on the Voss Coin YouTube channel. And today's video is all about just keeping your gains or preserving them or getting you loaded up to make the next big play. What does that even mean? <laughs> I think he's great. And I love what he said there about the fake guru thing. Obviously, he's joking about that. And the reason is because there are so many people in this space who are the hype masters. They're the gurus who are going to sell you on their vision, the new coin that they just bought. And then as soon as you buy it, they're going to sell it right on top of you. So you're going to take a loss and they're going to take profits on top of you. And one of the things that I like about Boss is he calls people up like that out. And he's going to just talk about the dirty stuff in the industry in general um, he does do like a lot of content in regards to like gaming and mining like i mentioned and those aren't really my topics otherwise if uh otherwise i probably would have put him higher up on the list for me personally but i do think that he's one of the best people in the space voss coin coming in at number five top crypto youtubers number four ladies and gentlemen round of applause we got a lady coming in the group more crypto more problems 
Well, when I really got into this industry a few years ago, there were like no women whatsoever to speak of, like at least not in the influencer type realm. And I've come across a few over the years, but Mo is the one that I really trust here in the space. And I like Mo because she's gonna talk about some of the projects and some of the ecosystems that maybe don't get as much play, like Solana, and um, Harmony One and Cosmos. And so a lot of her videos focus on those and like things like airdrops and just kind of more niche type content, which are actually more of the niches that I've kind of found myself into. And so I have relied on Mo and she has helped me uh, with a couple of good wins. Let's take a look here at this video of hers. Super Bowl and FTX are maybe probably coming. You know, it, it's tough and obviously like part of this is like memes. Right? Like that's not something that people are usually taught in business no. schools. But yeah. if you look investing nowadays, not just in crypto, everywhere, memes are really fucking important. Well, you guys, Sam Bankman Freed have actually said it. Memes are really fucking important. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Mocha Promo Problems. My name is Mo. And today we're talking about this Solana's top dog, Samoid Coin. Elon Musk says, dope. There we go. This Samo coin too actually uh, was, I got involved in this project because of Mo. I had made a trade on the Solano ecosystem and I had like 80 bucks left in my wallet. I was like, eh, Mo likes it. I'm gonna throw it on Samo. That 80 bucks is now worth $800. So kind of wish I'd put more on that, but thanks Mo. Shout out for the Samo recommendation and shout out for being a woman in this space. Like if you guys know any other women in this crypto space who are actually like doing legit things and people that we should follow and listen to, post the comments below. I want to know about them. Number four, The Defiant. The Defiant. I, this is a, probably the coolest name in all of crypto. It's DeFi and like, because if you're using DeFi, then you're basically defying the current financial system. So I just think that's a brilliant name. These guys, they will do a lot of deep dives into DeFi projects. Um, they also do some tutorials. They do a lot of really interesting interviews and their team is built of experts who were working for other projects before spinning off and starting their own media company. And they're actually making a push to become a major player in the uh, media space as a in the metaverse as a media company. They're like getting involved in VR and stuff like that. So that's gonna be the future of their project. They only have 100,000 subscribers, which actually makes them one of the smallest on this list, I think besides Mo. Uh, but they're also one of the newest channels here as well. Let's see when their first video came out. A year ago. So yeah, they're, they're already reached 100,000 in less than a year and they have really quality content and their video production is probably the best. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's the best in the crypto space, their video content. It's just great. It's Monday. It's time for a quick take. Penguins hit the skids. Vitalik says multi-chain, not cross-chain. Arbitrum goes offline. Solana goes offline. And some random DeFi channel gets 100,000 subs. It must be a quick take. It was the first week of the year last week and it didn't disappoint. I'm out of breath now, but we'll hear all about that. All right, so that's the Defiant. They, they do these quick take things and deep dives. This is more of a news segment, but it's not gonna be like general news. It's gonna be news on a, one specific topic generally. And yeah, they're great. Uh, Defiant. Okay, that was number three. Oh, did I even say that? Maybe I messed that up. That was number three. Coming in at number two is Altcoin Daily. This is the channel that I actually spend the most time watching and it's because they produce just a ton of content daily, obviously. And as you can see, like a lot of times they're gonna put out even two videos a day. The number one thing that I rely on them for is news aggregation. They're gonna scour the interwebs, uh, be it Twitter, Reddit, blogs, uh, other YouTube channels, and then they're gonna take all the top stories every day and put them into a single video. So it's just a really easy way to stay like high level, uh, what's happening in the markets and get a general sentiment of all the news across the board. They also do some deep dives, uh, interviews and top 10 lists, like top 10 altcoins, things like that. They, I, I consume probably like, I don't know, 70, 80% of the videos that they put out honestly. And this is what they are like. Hey, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. Let me know which cryptocurrencies you're buying in the comments below. Of course, the reason why you subscribe to this channel is because on a daily basis, we take you through everything going on in cryptocurrency around the world, different altcoins. This is exactly what we're doing today. If you appreciate that, support the channel, like the video, 
Let's get in to the top story of the day. All right, there you go. So Aaron and Austin, they are two twin brothers and they like tag team. So one will do one video, then the other will do the next video. And they both do a great job in the um, altcoin daily. Honestly, I think like for a newbie or for like somebody who's deep into the space, this, they have to be on your list. The top two YouTubers that I'm recommending here are YouTube channels. The like basically they're unavoidable. You, you can you can pick and choose between the other ones because depending on what niches you're involved in or what your interests are, they may or may not be as relevant to you, but Allcoin Daily is going to be relevant to anybody who's interested in crypto in general. Finally, coming in at number one. We have the Coin Bureau. Guy from the Coin Bureau is awesome. His content is amazing and rightfully so. They have 1.86 million subscribers, which actually makes them the largest uh, YouTuber in the crypto space. So YouTube and I are in agreement on this one. Coin Bureau is the man, Guy is the man. Their content is amazing. They do really, really deep dives on um, specific projects where they'll cover everything from the tokenomics, like the economics behind the coin, the actual project itself, the founders, the news, they go deep. Like here's one on Gala Games and they just do a ton like that. And then more recently he started to do more news type segments like weekly reviews, kind of similar to what Allcoin Daily is doing, but he also is going to offer a bit more of his own perspective and analysis, unlike the boys at Altcoin, Altcoin Daily who kind of just stick to the headlines. Guy is the man, and he's also funny. Um, take a look at how he does some of his intros. Every intro is different. Often they rhyme, I dig that. This one doesn't rhyme, but it's hilarious. Yes, Samej, <laughs> my name is Borat. I have traveled from my home country of Kazakhstan to United Kingdom to learn about crypto from Grand High Eagle of Coin Bureau. Mr. Guy, very sexy man, very handsome. But although he has taught me many things, I have found out that he is not a financial advisor. I want him to advise me how to invest 200 billion Kazakh tenge I have inherited from my cousin killed by bear, and he cannot tell me. I wish I had the knowledge of that before I drive all the way here from my country. Anyway, Mr. Guy, he said, if you want to become a part of his family, then please to tap subscribe button and ring bell too. Or perhaps you can marry his sister. Maybe that would work as well. Thanks, Paul Ratton. Sorry for the mix up. <laughs> All right. So there's my top 10 list. Top 10, top 10 crypto YouTubers. Coming in, number one is Guy from the Coin Bureau. What do you guys think of my list? Who did I leave off? Did, did I put somebody in there who maybe shouldn't have been in there? Post your comments below. Let me know what you think. And let me know something. I don't know. Let me know whatever you want to know. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Peace and blessings from Mwanza, Tanzania. I'm out. Love you guys.